Hello Chamber members and welcome to May. So glad you could join us. I hope you all had a wonderful April. I know that we did here at the Chamber. It was really, really busy. We did a lot of great things and I have some great updates for you all. And there are a lot of wonderful updates here in the newsletter in the following pages. So I hope you'll read through the whole thing and see some pictures of all the awesome stuff that we are up to this month. Uh, kind of the big thing we did was our annual legislative day on April 27th. We were able to have a very large group go down to Springfield to meet with some of our state legislators and agencies. And we were able to talk about Macomb, make a, a name for ourselves, make sure that these people know who we are and keep us on the map. So the big thing I'm sure you saw on the cover, we were able to have a meeting with Governor J.B. Pritzker. We got about 20 or so minutes with the governor. Uh, we were able, a lot of people were able to talk to him. I mean, we all were, but uh, so we had representatives from the city of Macomb. We had Mayor Inman. We had Dr. Wong from Western. We had Dr. Oldfield from Spoon River College. We had Pat Osterman from McDonough District Hospital. Um, Dr. Toomey and um, one of his board members from the Macomb School District, John Meixner from the regional, uh, the regional superintendent of schools, and many more people. Um, and we were all able to kind of say a few thank yous to the governor for some funding opportunities and things throughout the last year, and also make him aware of some other um, bills coming up or other needs that our area has over the next year or so. So it was fantastic to have that chance to meet with him um, it's not every year you get in with the governor. It's pretty tricky to kind of fit in with his schedule and it takes a little bit of a little bit of work to get in there. So we were glad we were able to meet with him this year. We were also able to meet with some of our state legislators. We met with Representative Hammond, Representative Swanson, and Senator Halpin. And we were able to hear updates from them on bills that are uh, currently in legislation and how they would affect our area specifically um, and the businesses and then we were able to ask questions make them aware of other bills that um, you know we wanted their support on or had some concerns with so it was great to hear from them it was great to get an update and have a chance to talk with them and then we also had an opportunity to hear an update from brad cole who's the director of the illinois municipal league it was always always great to hear from brad we hear from him most years um, they're very gracious hosts that allow us to have lunch there uh, in their building that we bring in. And then we'll hear an update from him. And then we are also able to hear from Robert Steffen from Intersect Illinois and enjoy a wonderful lunch from Cafe Maxo, which was sponsored by Western Illinois University. So thank you for sponsoring that lunch. We are also able to travel over to the Illinois Department of Transportation and hear from the secretary, Omar Osman. So it was wonderful to meet with him and some of his staff. Um, as you know, transportation is a big deal, especially around here. Um, so it's great to always meet with him. Uh, we do have a close relationship with our district IDOT representatives. We do meet with them every other month during our transportation committee meetings. Um, but it's nice once a year to touch base with the IDOT secretary as well. And he seems to know who all of us are. Uh, we meet with them regularly. So it's great to, to build those connections with him. So if you can't tell, Legislative Day is very important for our community. It's a great opportunity to make sure that our legislators know about Macomb, know our needs, know our wants, know our concerns. Um, so if you weren't able to join us this year, hopefully next year you'll be able to join us. But if not, just know that we are doing some great things for Macomb and for the community. Um, so coming up later this month, we have Business After Hours. On May 17th, we'll be meeting at Woodrum Automotive. So please plan to join us there from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Just in case you weren't aware and you have kiddos in school, May 26th is scheduled to be the last day of school. I know my kids are looking forward to it, looking forward to summer break. I'm sure yours are as well. And then finally, it's not this month, but coming up on June 30th, we will have our annual Chamber Golf Outing. I should be sending out an email in the next week or so to secure our final sponsorships, and then we will send out the registration flyer. So whether you are planning to sponsor golf or both, please know that you're going to be getting information from us very soon. So those are some great things coming up in the next month or so. We are really looking forward to warmer temperatures, and it seems like this spring has been especially cool. Um, but looking ahead in the next couple weeks, it looks like we're going to finally be warming up quite a bit. So I know I'm excited. I love to garden. I love to get my plants out there. I'm sure some of you do as well. So I hope you're looking forward to it as well. 
I hope you all have a fantastic May. I look forward to seeing you all out and about in the community. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call the office to talk to me or to send me an email at any time. I'm always here for you. I hope you have a great month. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Chamber members. <music>